So I've already talked about the Mario spin-offs, of which there are a lot. But you know what there aren't a lot of? Non-Mario spin-offs. His universe is full of characters that deserve their own games. Some of them got some. Let's go to the ones that have got them, and then go into the ones that need some. This one can be a little debatable, as Donkey Kong was actually the one that originated Mario. In 1981, it was Jumpman vs. Donkey Kong, and then, you know, later on he got his whole series and then Donkey Kong was kind of left in the dust. He got three sequels, of course, but they were still just kind of arcade games. But finally, for the Super Nintendo, with these amazing graphics at the time, Donkey Kong Country came out. Huge success. They made three in the Super Nintendo, and they finally brought it back, I believe in like 2009, with Donkey Kong Country Returns. So, so hard. And those, you know, Super Nintendo games are very, very hard, but I think they kind of lost their opportunity to make them a little bit more, I wouldn't say easier, but player friendly for the Wii and the Wii U sequel. The Wii U one, of course, is what you're seeing now. I think they're great games, and I think Donkey Kong deserves his own series of games, of course, again, since he was the one that kind of started this whole thing, but... At the same time, I think there's more room for some innovation there. But, of course, I'd like to see some more Donkey Kong. Who doesn't? Next, another beginning villain, which was Wario, which was first introduced in the Game Boy games. And then from those Game Boy games, Mario or Wario basically got his own series. And my favorite of the whole group, just because of how gorgeous it is, is Wario Land Shake It. And that was the last game he's ever gotten. Of course, he does have his mini game collections with the Wario Inc. and the DIY, basically these weird random collections of crazy games, and they're pretty cool. But the main ones that I love are the side-scrolling platformers, and 2008 is a long time for there not to be any kind of platformer. This one is just like the anime visuals and the thing, the way it looks, it's just so crisp. It may look a little weird because it's an SD platform, but man, Wild Land Shaker is such a good game, and I would just, I need, I need another game like this. I don't care if it's for the 3DS or the Wii U, or the NX, or whatever, but just please bring the Wario Land series back. This one is also kind of debatable, because Yoshi kind of had his own spin-off with Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, where he was the main star, but in Japan, it was known as just Yoshi's Island, so was that the beginning of the spin-off? or what. Either way, whether the first one was the spin-off or the sequels were the spin-offs, Yoshi's Island has been a spin-off series ever since. And the, the best one, is, of course, is the mainline Mario one, which is Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo, uh, just because the crayon physics. And they've tried to, you know, go back to that since there was a DS one. Most recently, there was a 3DS one, but now there's going to be a yarn one, and I think it looks, looks so adorable. I'm probably going to review that or do something with it, because it just looks totes adorbs to use the stupid catchphrase of the internet, but it, it really, really does. And I, and I don't think these games have been good since that Super Nintendo game, and it's legit good. I played it over and over again very recently, and it's just, it's still good. The other ones, just try to mimic it without like the spice of the original. Number four, technically it began with Mario was missing, wherein Luigi was trying to find Mario. But let's not count that game because that game sucks. The same basic principle though was used for Luigi's Mansion and of course Luigi's Mansion 2. I think the game gets a lot of slack because the first one was a little weird and it was a launch game for the GameCube and where people wanted a you know traditional style Mario game since they hadn't had one since the N64 with the launch game of Mario 64 and I guess this was kind of disappointing to people and then later disappointing to the ones that got Mario Sunshine but hey I think Luigi's Mansion is a cool concept. I think they really nail it with uh, Dark Moon for the 3DS. I think that game is super fantastic, and I think Luigi should be in more games. I think he is a far superior character to Mario, because Mario is kind of a blank space, and I've talked about this in many, many shows before, but Luigi has character. Sure, he's a coward, but you know, he tries his darndest. This one may be the most surprising, because 
with the rise of feminism, you'd think that Nintendo would try a little bit more. And because they have, you know, women on their dev teams, you'd think they'd try a little bit more to have Peach in her own series. The only game that she's ever started in by herself is Super Princess Peach for the DS. And while a lot of feminists actually are against it because her powers involve her crying to make things grow and angered and storming off, you know, her powers are emotions, basically. But I think it's kind of a cool idea. I think it's... It's a weird visual style. I think the world is bright and colorful, and I like that. I think Peach looks a little off. I do like her umbrella, and I do like her powers, and I really, really do think that she should get another game. Or a kind of... What about Daisy and Peach kind of thing? Well, I'll get into that a little bit later, but I think this is a very underrated game. Uh, Peach really does deserve her own set of series, or at least uh, try and do a sequel. Nintendo, come on! And you know who kind of deserves a sequel the most? Well, probably Luigi and Peach, because they just go through a hell in the Mario universe. But, but Toad! Toad with Captain Toad was the most recent expansion to the whole universe. And that's a neat little puzzle game. It's very, very cute. Again, I'm not really that into puzzles, and I did not finish it. It didn't really hold me that well. But I do think Toad deserves, you know, his own kinds of spin-offs. So I'm glad that they got a try in there, and I would like to see kind of a spin-off. I did like the more smaller version of it with inside 3D World, but uh, a whole expansion, you know, maybe it didn't really need a disc. Maybe it could have been a small downloadable thing. But, you know, that aside, I still think it's a cool little game. So these six got spin-offs, and deservedly so. But there are some other important characters in the Mario Kingdom that really should get a spin-off. Bowser, for example. Sure, the third game in the Mario & Luigi RPG series was all about him. But it wasn't a strict, it's all about Bowser game. Half the game is still about Mario and Luigi. What about something where he's destroying something? Or, you know, maybe he's had it with the Mushroom Kingdom and goes off to another kingdom. That way you feel less evil by controlling another set of characters in some other kingdom that you have no allegiance to. Maybe they're kind of a bad kingdom anyway and Boss is just trying to liberate it. Maybe that could be an RTS where he sends armies of Goombas and Magikoopas after people, and that would be kind of cool. Uh, in that RTS example, I think it'd be kind of cool to see like a Toad army versus the Koopa army and stuff like that. I think it'd be kind of interesting too, especially with the, the touch controls of the 3DS or the touch controls of the Wii U. While Luigi, another Eva character, should definitely get his own thing because he is just a weird cosmic thing that just kind of happened because Wario happened. And Waluigi serves no purpose other than the minigames. But um, another website, Game Trailers, who I, I'm a big fan of as a fellow journalist. I think they do some good work over there. And they basically had this game uh, that they came up with on their new show at Mandatory Update called Wario or Waluigi Sneak in Love. And they also go into some other sequels that they have in mind. But it's just a fantastic idea. I don't know if specifically Nintendo would ever do that. But Waluigi definitely needs some kind of thing. Maybe we should team up with Wario and have a, another spin-off RPG series where it's Wario and Waluigi. Or in that same vein, what if Daisy and Princess Peach team up and stuff? Like the Princess Sisters. You can't really call them sisters, but you know, the princesses, Super Princess uh, friends, Super Princess friends, and then they go on adventures. Or Super Evil Brothers and it's Waluigi and whatever. Uh, again, the twin pair could be really good. Or what if there's a whole universe of opposite people? What about Watoad or Wakupa? Where Wakupa, or I guess it'd be Wabowser. Wabowser's the actual good guy and he has like a mustache or he has like long flowing like uh, Sephiroth hair and he's all like muscly and the girls go after him and <laughs> but he's super weak. I don't know, these are just some ideas. Uh, Shay and I talked a lot about the ideas in our Fixed Nintendo series, again, to bring that up. But yeah, there's just so many ideas out there. And again, just like I'll end of the last one, Nintendo continue to innovate. And of course, again, happy 30th anniversary, Mario.